Hello. I wonder if anyone is even going to be around to watch this. Hello, Chompy. <laughs> hmm? Internet connection problem. <laughs> well, that was a immediate failure. Try to have a little call going on breaks immediately. Heard about a fraction of a syllable. Ah, of course. You would do that, wouldn't you, Internet? What am I doing anyway? I've got everything. Ah, your Skype crashed. Okay, that explains it, at least. I I guess there's still arena stuff I can technically do at this point. But... Wacky Skype. Oh, there you are. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I um switched on my mic and then Skype left. Good job, Skype. It just left me forever. Uh, uh let's see. So Am I if, you, if it left you? you forever, what are you doing now? Um, sneaking into its house and using its things. Oh, uh, okay. This metaphor is a little bit weird at this point. Uh, right, there we go. Hello, Ark, I think. No, it's something completely different. Oh, okay. oh no. <laughs> so, like, this is oblivion and stuff. You knew that, right? I've been here for the past two, so yes. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Wait, what's Oblivion? I never played that game. I thought you did. I played a little bit of it, then I went, then I looked, then I just, I stared at the graphics for a bit, and I went, I don't think I can do this, <laughs> which is weird because I had no problem when I first played Morrowind. Morrowind is really ugly. Yep. Yeah, but at the time it wasn't so bad. At the time it was really ugly. I have a guidebook for Morrowind. It's about the size of a textbook, <laughs> or maybe even a phone book. I think I did what a lot of people did when I started Morrowind, and I found that scroll of jump. And died? Like, right outside the first town, and died. Yeah, and died. Yeah. Because I used it and jumped. I think I save-stated before I used it, at least. Or I never found that until someone else showed me it existed. If you know anything it's like right about on Icarus. the road. Out, like. Well, I didn't take the road. Well, no, of course not. It's, more, it's Elder Scrolls. Who takes the road? <laughs> so anyway, I guess I'll be doing, like, the story or something... I mean, I already did the punching quest line. Pretty much. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Hello, Hello Brother friend. Joffrey. Well, this cannot it's be. you. Hi. The Emperor that was someone else. Handle the amulet. Let me Although see. now looking at it, now that I've looked at it for a few hours longer than I did last when I first tried it, it doesn't look. I don't want to say so bad because it still is bad. What do you know of the Emperor's it, death? It's but, it's really not that bad. It's tolerable. <laughs> The main one yeah, of the main things the I notice for. is the Bethesda head animation. <laughs> yeah, exactly uh, the same know, as I, it is in the Fallout Three and in Vegas games. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what it is. It's I haven't played Skyrim in a few days, so I don't have anything to compare it to. <laughs> His meaning is unclear to me. I thought you played well. Skyrim like yesterday. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demand. Okay, it probably came up. Like, it probably like popped up that I said, that, "Oh yeah, he, I'm playing Skyrim." That's because it's in my hotbar, and I might have probably accidentally clicked it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I haven't actually played in a couple of days. That explains it. I'm not sure. So this guy's telling us about Oblivion or something. I'm not really paying attention. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it. I wonder how many voice actors they had in this game. 
It can't have been more than like ten at the very most. <laughs> the weird old part man, is they had old like woman. they had a few people who just played like one shopkeeper, and that's it. Are you sure that that one shopkeeper wasn't also every other shopkeeper? Yeah. I mean, like, there's there's I'm, like one or two NPCs that are the voice actor for Wonder Woman from some ancient show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there are some NPCs who have two voice actors because they didn't think about what to do when you pass by beggars. <laughs> that is my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you suddenly speaking like a commoner? You are a commoner. But I knew it You're less than a commoner. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim. I heard that the grey fox was found in the place of the places. Hey, could you spare a coin? <laughs> the Maybe they're performance uh, artists, and it's like. If, if the enemy is aware just like if they were sitting down playing some guitar or something, you'd throw and some money at them. You're paying them for their beggar impression. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, I think Thieves Guild quests are always my favorite. It will be safest, well, uh, I might have to... I don't know if I've ever tried those. Because I certainly I never... Finding the Thieves Guild, and I'm bad at that. I certain, I definitely never uh, did the Dark Brotherhood. Help yourself to whatever you need. Last well, time, the Mar Dark Brotherhood mm. guy showed up, and I punched him to death. <laughs> no one in the arena cares when you're fighting this mostly invisible man, who also wakes you up from your sleep and talks about murder very loudly. <laughs> Maybe they heard him, and they went, well... It's not my problem. That's I, generally how a lot of... Like, I, I, I wish the, the Imperial Guards thought that way. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, though, none of the people really cared that when you were fighting the Grand Champion that he stood there and did nothing. Yeah. Also, I was able to pickpocket someone's key while sitting right behind them and allegedly being visible and no one cared. And that's how I got the... the fist uh, maybe that's a bug thing. with Chameleon? I don't know. I, Chameleon is pretty broken. That's my best guess. Let's see. And by broken, I mean powerful broken. So, illegitimate son pre is a priest in Kavach. We have to oh go man, to Kavach. That priest totally isn't doomed at all. You know, if all I right. had went there before talking to Joffrey, I forget if it would have been in a decent condition uh, or not. Oh wait, this is the one where. Because right now Kavach where... is automatically under siege. Yeah. So wait, this is the game where Mr. I'm the Daedric Prince of Rape comes and tries and screws things up, right? Uh. Malik Bol. Uh, maybe. I no, don't know. not Malik Bol. Marin's Dagon. Yeah, so Marin's Dagon well, I, is a big bad guy. Two Wasn't he I'm the bad guy in Morrowind? Dagon. Not this. Yeah, I think Wasn't... Malik Bol was in Morrowind a lot. Well, I'm Malik... at, I'm in Marin's Dagon. The only thing I really know about Malik Bol is he created vampires by raping someone, and that's how that worked. Ouch. Well... Yeah. He's a Daedric Prince, so I guess it works like that. Instead of doing the story quest right away... Mage Guild time! Let's just walk in the general direction of Kavach and then do whatever happens to come across us, I suppose. That's honestly a lot more fun than fast traveling there. Yes. If this was Morrowind, I would have been whining about how there's no fast travel, though. <laughs> because it's Oblivion's you have silk striders. people are always like, man, Oblivion's overworld looks <laughs> anyway, so yeah, copy and pasted, blah blah. But it's a lot nicer to look at than brown mud and cliff racers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even if the draw distance is a little bit wonky and you can see the grass phase in as you walk <laughs> around. That's pretty funny, actually. Oh man, I hope you run across wherever that place is with the invisible wolves. Invisible wolves? Yeah, there's just this side quest where if, you know, if you're not fast traveling anywhere, you can run into a place where there are invisible wolves. And that's on purpose? That's on purpose, yeah. Okay. Alright. I found some ruins. Yay, ruins. It's got oh. deer. They're the sparkly ruins. Yeah. I wonder if there will be any uh, reverse punji steak pits. It's Windier is the name of these ruins. 
Let's go in, dear. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> it's got people in it. I don't know what kind of people they are. Is that a skeleton? Well, you should check around the outside to see if there's a fountain or something. I'm already in. Well, twitch delay. Uh, this isn't a people. This is a skeleton. <laughs> Who didn't notice me? I get the feeling that these ruins will be boring. Because this is Oblivion and random dungeons don't have random interesting things like they do in Skyrim. Well, they did a better job of having random interesting things than a lot of random places in Morrowind. Probably true. A lot of the Morrowind stuff it was just like, this is a cave with a winding cave layout. I found a cave last time that had absolutely nothing in it at all. Wow, <laughs> also this trap... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got those traps that push you into ceiling spikes, except I it missed, even though I was oh, yeah. on it. The reverse bungee stake pit. It still missed. I was standing <laughs> on it, and it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, it, if you stand on the edge of it, you just miss all the spikes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was sneaking, the spikes didn't notice me. <laughs> oh. oh, there, okay, I, for I forgot that we're behind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will it kill the skeleton? Uh, I think it did kill the skeleton. I didn't yep. see him come back down, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, okay, there was a corpse on it, so... I love sneak attacks with fists. They're pretty great. Oh man, five gold! Like sneak this dungeon is gonna make me rich. <laughs> oh no, a skeleton. I like sneak attacks in general, because they're usually pretty broken. Just. Yeah. I think they do so much damage. I think after I killed that skeleton, I punched his skull while it was flying through the air. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Man, there's probably mods for Skyrim that put <laughs> yeah, hand you to hand totally back did. in. <laughs> hmm? There's probably mods for Skyrim that put a hand to hand skill in. Probably. I wonder if any of them are good. But, but that game has it has some Bethesda bugginess as it is, and I don't want to risk adding anything to it. You know, Oblivion's been remarkably stable so far. Uh, I hear people in the background. Me too. Must be. So do I. Where, wait, where are you anyway? Because I was out for a minute. Oh, this is this is Windir. Some random ruins. So why can't I hear people? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I figured it was in one of you's backgrounds. Wait, actually, that's a good point. Why can't I hear people? Because I, I have the stream muted. It can't be from the stream. Yeah. I don't think no. Morrowind has little girls in it anyway. Because that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Someone's New Year's relative. Probably. Ah, uh, here we go. What is this? I don't know any little girls. Winder, Winder Nagasel. This game doesn't have Nagas in it, so it's not a Naga prison. It wasn't closed, that explains everything. <laughs> and the people in the background I thought I heard, which wasn't what you guys were hearing, was that Hearthstone was still open. Oh. And in the menu. Hmm, I saw this floor rise up like that. I wonder if that's suspicious at all. Yep. Huh. Well, these traps kind of suck. <laughs> they didn't account for people being on the edge of them. I forget yeah. what the backstory of these ruins are. Who's responsible for this architecture? Uh, the Probably elves. Or Dwemer. I well, like, half of the races in Morrowind are technically elves. So. Yeah, these are the Aelid <laughs> ruins, and I forget what Aelids are. Uh, are they elves that don't exist anymore? It's quite possible. They might be floating jellyfish. Um, Oblivion. Aelids. Floating jellyfish were those things you could fight in Morrowind. Unless you're talking yeah. about sentient floating jellyfish. I'm, I'm <laughs> talking about sentient floating jellyfish, which I'm not sure are even a thing. Uh, oh, they're like a subspecies of high elf. Oh. 
So are they like higher or what? Um, hey, let's also known as wild elves or heartland high elves. Oh, wild. Hmm. Oh no, it's a skeleton archer. He's scared. Oh, there you go, punching him in the butt. Skeletons don't have butts anymore. <laughs> Especially after I'm done with them. Question mark. So far, this rune is fairly boring. Hey, look, I have a this block. problem. I have this problem in Oblivion where I will do anything I can to steal food because it's so shiny looking, and then I mash it into potions. Well, if you're playing Skyrim, you can just consume all of the food and get HP. <laughs> but oh, I want to make potions with them. I want to make a cheese I wheel potion. I cannot punch ghosts! Oh no! I, I have literally no way to deal with ghosts. Because punching doesn't work. That's bad. Uh, wait, I might have a random enchanted thing. The Blade of Woe isn't enchanted? It's just stupid? Ugh. Wait, did, did Skype mess up again? Yes. It did. Oh wait, I think ghosts can be killed by silver. Yes, they can. Skype, what have you done? I'm assuming that the stream itself is still going. Oh. Well. That's lovely. Surprisingly not deadly. Uh, why isn't the third one going? <laughs> Whatever. Traps. Who cares? Hello again? Maybe it'll work if I do it. Oh, I, I hope. Oh. I, no. <laughs> We'll see. S Skype Y. Yeah. Shag, you're using a dagger. Why? Because I can't punch ghosts. I have to use a silver oh. weapon to kill them. Oh. Or a magic weapon. But I have silver crap lying around, so... True. The Blade of Woe surprisingly has no enchantments on it. That's the thing that the Dark Brotherhood guy gave me and told me to go kill some dude with. So I punched him instead. I tried killing him with the Blade of Woe instead, in like an ironic gesture, but my blade skill was not very good. Ah. Uh. uh. Let's see. Oh, okay. Looks like we're down one member permanently, or at least temporarily. Yeah. As Chompy said, I think Skype is the problem. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a a fancy sounding treasure chest thing that has an average lock on it. Ooh, Fortify average. fatigue pants! <laughs> They're actually just called Fortify fatigue pants. Yes. Well, that's... Well. I must don the pants of fatigue. Or... So how does the lockpicking game in Oblivion supposed to work? Um, when you press up on each of the little t 
things, like, it makes a different noise in a pattern. Like, sometimes it clicks, and you're supposed to lock it down when it clicks. And each one of them has a different sort of pattern to it. Like, it won't click two, for two presses, and it'll click for one, and, you know, stuff like that. Uh -huh. It's overly complicated and also kind of stupid. So the real way that it works is that you st save in front of a locked thing and then... <laughs> Mash auto. It. Yeah. But like this, because I don't have enough locks. Ta-da! It suddenly worked. A miracle. Basically, it would be a lot easier to be a thief if you could time travel. Hmm, an <laughs> obvious pressure plate. Actually, I don't know what that did. Oh, it opened this passage here. With a skeleton in it. Oh, it has two skeletons in it. And 18 gold. Oh, really? You can just hit it right as it hits the top, no matter what it does? I always thought it was sound-based. They don't ever really explain it. If I remember correctly. Mm. I like what it was replaced with. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like that lock-picking minigame. That's the same as it is in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, I think. Yes, it is. The only problem with that is that you have to have locksmith thing, or security or whatever at a certain level to even try yeah that skyrim's a lot better about it in that i can with with the lowest lock picking you can possibly have go up to a master lock and still have a, ch a chance ex at success yeah you know it was really annoying in oh wait there's an arrow going through my hand well and my waist but Anyway, what's really annoying in Fallout? What I didn't I never picked up a bow. I'll get to my point eventually, but <laughs> what's really annoying was the computer hacking mini game. Oh no, I have one more chat one more if I make one more wrong password thing, I'll get locked out of the thing forever. Leave the computer, re log the computer. <laughs> But yeah, it was... And I never took science either, so... I was never any better at it. Ah, uh, 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 there we go. <laughs> yeah, that was another thing you had to have a certain skill level to even be allowed to try. Which also applied to, like, speech. I mean, Fallout 3 was, oh, you, based on your speech, you have a random chance to succeed, or whatever. Uh -huh. And then I th and then in New Vegas, it's, oh, if you have so much speech, you automatically succeed. If you have so much speech, and you have access to new options. And it, like... And, most of, and it shows you the options when you don't have enough speech. It's like, you need a million speech to not be an idiot. Yeah. Or to complete this quest at all. So, really, in New Vegas, the first thing you need to do is pump speech. Pretty much. Also, pump intelligence so you get more skill points per level or whatever. Hmm. I think there are guides out there for optimizing characters that require you to, like, run across the world and get brain surgery immediately. Yeah, um, there's a... I think for melee characters... Um, I don't, I play in New Vegas anyway, because of how, how the system works, um, melee characters don't need any perception, hmm. because it doesn't affect accuracy. All perception actually does is, is, um, how, how far away you can see enemies on the compass. 
That's all, and some checks. That's all it actually does. Oh well. I mean, if if you were if you were using a ranged weapon, it, it affects that. I think melee characters are also supposed to take like hand to hand and melee weapons. I think prove both of those for some reason. Hand to hand, uh, I guess it depends, but hand to hand takes more. Um, for quote unquote optimal builds, a hand to hand takes more perks because it requ and more stats because it requ it requires. Um, like higher luck and stuff for crit things and other um, so, melee weapons um, I just find is easier. I'm going to be lost in this dumb ruin for a while, okay? That's, That's fine. Okay. Hello, Chompy. Hello. I got tired of not talking. <laughs> that seems unusual for you. Actually. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Uh, Say hooray because it's a good thing. Hopefully what I'm gonna do is find the correct exit eventually. You'll be lost in these ruins forever. And ever. Oh no, I'll die of boredom. Maybe starvation. And eventually you'll get so bored that you'll accidentally trip on one of those reverse punchy steak bits. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I should probably downgrade Skype. Yeah, if I knew how to do that, maybe I would try. Downgrade? Is, that, like, the latest that, version specifically terrible? Well, no, it's, I don't know. it depends. It, it, oh, see ya. I guess. Mm -hmm. What? Okay. <laughs> she probably got kidnapped. Uh. Well, it's still, like, 45 minutes till the usual free time. Oh, I suppose. Help, I hate this ruin. Can't you just look on the map? Where to go out? I've like, been I've been looking at the map repeatedly, and it doesn't really tell me anything. It's like, look at this mm. map; it doesn't mean anything at all. Well, if you hover over one of those waypointy things, it won't tell you which one's the exit. Well, I know which one's the exit. It doesn't tell me how to get there. Because oh. it's some weird staircase layer nonsense. Oh, because, it, yeah, it's layered. Oh, yeah. If you think this is bad, you should have seen the layer cake caves in City of Heroes. I don't think I got to that part of City of Heroes. Please tell me that was just a cave literally made out of layer cake. No. Mm. Oh. Mario, Everyone New called Super it that because it was... <laughs> it's just like New Super Mario Bros. Wii U, where the desert is not actually a layer cake. But yeah, there, there was that one room in that cave, and god forbid if the quest objective was there, because that meant you had to clear out that room. And there were five floors of it, but you could only ever find three. <laughs> and there were holes in the floors, and the whole thing was bright blue and you couldn't tell where the holes were because it was bright blue. You know, I do remember something in City of Heroes where I had a mission that I couldn't complete because I couldn't find anything. I think it was probably a warehouse yeah. though. And in City of Villains. Oh. <laughs> uh, if I was gonna play if I was gonna play one of those two, it would probably be City of Villains, because I don't know if villains. If you were are going fun. to play one of those two, you would have to travel back in time to when the servers were up. So. Well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah. They were the okay. same game anyway. Okay, here's the plan. I'm going to jump in place until my jumping skill is high enough to let me get this jump. <laughs> oh, I almost did it. <laughs> the jumping is not very responsive in this game. Why isn't it why isn't it jumping half the time? Uh um because of Bethesda. Aha. Aha! Take that. I found my own way. Stupid dungeon. I mean, considering in for whatever reason you you can't jump forward up a mountain in Skyrim, but you can jump backwards up a mountain. I don't know why that works. You can works. jump forward up a mountain. You just have to find the right part of the mountain. 
And there's I mean, no way yes, to find the right part of the mountain except for jumping <laughs> into it. We escaped the stupid dungeon of boring. And then we found Hooray. it. <laughs> After I left it, it gave me the you found Windier message. The job. Hey look, a big old statue thing. What's this about? Nice giant statue, I guess? Okay. Gorf. I see. That is a nice giant statue. I don't think it has a point. Oh man, there are caves and wolves. <laughs> My radar detects caves. <laughs> My dungeon sense. You know, I almost wish they had a spell that was like Detect Dungeon, that just made them shoot giant purple pillars of light into the sky. <laughs> from the distance. That would be... That would actually be pretty cool, I think. Because that's basically what Detect Life does, except without the pillars, and it just makes them glow purple. I like spell making because you can just do Detect Life for one second, in a radius that's actually useful. <laughs> It's a, it's a radar pulse. It's also a very good way to level up alteration or whatever that spell <laughs> is. Yeah, that too. Of course, you don't even ha you can just cast the ones that you get anyway. Rock bottom caverns. Well, if we're gonna hit rock bottom, might as well do it immediately. <laughs> what do you? Let's take bets on what's in this cavern. What do you think? Bandits, vampires, vampire bandits. Um, I think zombies. Okay, I'm gonna go with bandits. Uh, nope, we're all wrong. It's goblins. Damn, they're really rare. And really dumb. I, because of previous Elder Scrolls experiences that I've had, I just expect vampires everywhere. <laughs> Like, god dang it, vampires, leave me alone. That sort of vampires everywhere. Ah! <laughs> Physics, I forgot about... The, what did I, I... Is there even a pressure plate that goes with this thing, or did it just swing down and hit me in the head? Oh well. If the traps were more deadly, maybe that would be concerning. Oh. I'm waiting until I see it. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have just used both of my lockpicks. It was probably a tripwire that is gone now. Probably. You know what I miss? I miss video games that let you bash treasure chests open. <laughs> I mean, the only more recent one I can think of that does that is Dungeons of Dreadmore. But, like, in Neverwinter games, you were always allowed to at least try, even though usually the chest had 100% damage resistance or something. You could sit there <laughs> yeah. and watch your guy flail at it and do nothing. At damage. least with Neverwinter, though, if you broke the chest, you could still grab the stuff out of it. Whereas, like, most of the time in Dreadmore, it destroys whatever was in it. Yeah. That reminds me, like, I, was, I, I really did enjoy Neverwinter Nights for what it was. First At one least or the, the first one. one. The first one. Uh. Uh, okay. The second one was a bit. I became an mm. apprentice of sneaking. Hooray! Yay! Random pop ups, yay! I'm on my way to becoming a spy president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that game. Oh my god, why aren't you looting all the goblin corpses everywhere? I, I thought I did. I'm not looting everything from them. I don't really need a bow, I don't think. You need a weak poison of debilitation, obviously. You can't poison oh, you your fists, it. but I did take it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could poison your fists. That would be really dumb. Just, like, pour a <laughs> bottle of poison on your hand and then sock someone in the head. You'd think they'd at least have, like, one specific weapon in the game that acted like a hand-to-hand -hand weapon but could be enchanted or... 
nah. poison or whatever. Hard programming. Oh, that's not hard programming. That's easy programming. Whoa. It's Bethesda, though. I so. do six times mm. damage from sneak attacks instead of four times now. Oh, man. Now they'll flop even more <laughs> egregiously. Egregious flopping permitted. <laughs> So yeah, but um, so I noticed that never that Neverwinter was on Steam. Was that actually any good, or was it just kind of meh? My problem with it was that it had the uh, compact issue, where everything is really nice and condensed, so there's nothing extraneous, and so you, there's nothing to explore. Oh. Uh, the gameplay itself was actually pretty fun. They added rangers. Possibility. Uh, they, they had rangers, but I don't want rangers! Well, that's significant because they didn't have any ranged physical before. Uh, the, as far as so, classes went, they had, like, what? Fighter? They cleric. had fighter, fighter, cleric, rogue. Yeah, fighter, other fighter. <laughs> yeah. Other fighter. Yeah. Seriously. Other fighter was pretty bad. Was it what? Just. There was a two handed. There was a great weapon fighter. There was a two handed. Oh sword fighter and a different and a shield based one i guess mm -hmm. i don't know that should just if you're gonna call it neverwinter you need uh just make it more like it's also like in the future cross. so it's not the neverwinter you know about anyway no but i'm like saying it it's just here yeah, have a selection of classes pick some feats which do different things on level up skills blah 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 have some branching options there it's not that hard to design Oh, the they branching, had some options, branching options and things. Mostly the branching options, but they weren't are just very great. The characters. <laughs> yeah. Were the rogues at least good? Um, yes. Oh, okay. I okay. No that makes me happy. I don't know I if I explored one. that entire cave thoroughly, but I don't really care. The priests shot laser <laughs> beams. Yeah. That was fun. Priests have holy lasers. It's fourth edition based, so holy lasers all everywhere. Yeah. I still haven't actually gotten around to doing anything with fourth edition. Well, Although I may not get a chance to, if, if, if fifth edition proves to be, you looked at the beta stuff. How how does it sh how does it shape up from what you've looked at it? Interesting. It's uh, a lot more freeform and reminds me of something I've played and I can't remember what. Oh no! I contracted hell so, joint. So then, <laughs> <laughs> my speed and agility are being drained. They are two separate stats. They're not advancing backwards into simulation territory, then? No. Good. Like, uh, spells are a little bit more into that, but... it's It still seems to be pretty, you know, designed somewhat as a game. My biggest problem with it is it's basically putting the all of the burden of making the game fun on the DM again. Uh, which is a problem. No, that's a bad idea. What do you mean by that? How was 4th edition I mean not... That also in 4th edition, play. the mechanics of the classes were strong enough that you could have a DM who did nothing but just throw random monsters at you, and you could still have fun, because the classes played in interesting ways. Ah. Oh god, this cave has imps uh, in it. I hate oh, imps. Imps are kinda nasty. At least it's not... at least it's oblivion and scaling, so it's not like, oh, this cave has dragons in it. <laughs> But that's more fun. No, they'd be da they'd be imps in Daedric armor. I think it's actually better <laughs> to have nonsense BS in random I caves. I do too. It's you know, do not go here is a very good fantasy trope that you should you know sure, actually that... use. It's very fun to go places where you're not supposed to. Yeah. yeah. Which is a reason that Morrowind would be good if its combat system didn't suck the worst ever. <laughs> it's so bad. And also, if it didn't have cliff racers, there are a million. There, are, there is more than one mod that is just dedicated to removing cliff racers from Morrowind. I don't think I. I don't think in all my time in Morrowind, I actually encountered them. Thank God. I think that you oh. are lying, unless you played Morrowind for about <laughs> five minutes and no more. <laughs> I did a lot of wandering into places I probably shouldn't have, but I don't remember they all have cliff racers. Every place in Morrowind. <laughs> did you go outside? Yes. <laughs> Everywhere that's outside in Morrowind. Hang on, actually, wait. I need to look up what a cliff racer looks like just to make sure I'm not 
misremembering. Think of them like. Did you ever rest outside because you encountered cliff racers? <laughs> oh, those. They're like. Yeah. Never mind. They're like low poly pterodactyls or something. <laughs> Oh no, I encountered Cliff Racers. Yeah, if you look up Cliff Racer, there is a <laughs> picture of the different. entire screen being covered in them. <laughs> and that's always fun. <laughs> oh no. Apparently there was a variant of Cliff, of Cliff Racer from which Helljoint could be contracted. I think there may be one nearby. Oh no. <laughs> no, I got Helljoint from a wolf. All it does is drain was, my agility was, and speed was, by flying. Yeah, Cliff Racer. You can't. Oh no. It was a poly cliff racer. They're getting smarter, or dumber, or different at least. <laughs> well, if, as long See, as they cliff say racers being wouldn't oops. have been nearly as annoying if they were in this game or Skyrim because you'd be able to hit them when you hit them. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't just like attack them a hundred thousand times and just have nothing happen. Yeah, that's the problem what's with Morrowind the, the, is that when you hit things, they didn't get hit. What was that? Was that a case of an evasion thing? I can't remember. There was yeah, something it was about because accuracy. your weapon skill wasn't high enough. Oh, that's right. If, you if your weapon skill wasn't a hundred, you wouldn't hit. Yeah, your weapon skill would also, steadily go up as you didn't hit, so you'd probably have a hundred by the time you had fought like a few rats. A cliff racer. <laughs> <laughs> that's an exaggeration. Oh, yeah, even that. Obviously. Imps are too good at looking at entrances that I might come out of to be sneaked up upon. That's because you're not wearing 100% chameleon. That's true. I could actually switch my armor to the 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 black robe that I took off the the guy and have more sneak, but that would make me de-equip my gloves because the robe covers that slot. Actually, if you wanted to be sneakier, you could take off your shoes. That's, That's an actual thing. That's true, too, actually. I don't think my shoes are anything special, so I should just go ahead and do that. Was there anything, like, that, that was a danger to anyone using 100% Chameleon? Um... Like, lava? I mean, I guess you could walk traps? into traps <laughs> and walk into crossfire if wizards were mad at each other or something. <laughs> yeah. So stupidity. <laughs> so, just environmental hazards. Uh, that's why I am kind of glad that the enchantment system wasn't... Yeah. ...that yeah. what it was changed. <laughs> I mean, a hundred chameleon's yeah. fun and all, but... <laughs> it's not fun! There's nothing fun about it! it okay, it, it's fun for like the it, first minute. It's fun in the same way that it's fun if you press this key and open up the console. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember any of the console it, it, commands, so I can't do anything. Wind Cave Black Rat Ramble! What? Are we playing Donkey Kong Country suddenly? I was just about to say, <laughs> that sounds like a Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> you Black Rat name. Ramble. Uh. <laughs> Well, I, admit, I will admit, for all the stupid brokenness Oblivion's enchantment system had, there were, it had some pretty good ones, from what I remember seeing. I wonder if Elder Scrolls Online is going to have spellmaking or enchanting. I so. hope that game is good. I really hope that game is good. I am extremely wary of it, because, come on, it's a Bethesda game, plus online connectivity. There's no way it's going to be anything remotely stable. <laughs> At least at first. Probably not. And I'm... I think it's going to be terrible because there are people who think it might be good and it's an MMORPG of an established series. Which yeah. means it's going to be awful. It's like movies made out of video games. <laughs> By that logic, World of Warcraft is awful. But everyone... But yeah, that was kind of a weird, uh, weird thing that happened where it was actually good. It can't be completely awful because people play it. Actually, well, that at this really... point, it could be completely awful, and they would still play it due to psychology. Yeah, that's true. Uh, psychology. And Blizzard goading them into not leaving every time they try. The game is <laughs> sort of designed to make them not want to leave. That's how games like that are supposed to work. Yep. I guess it really depends on the on what pricing model. EOS has. If it's subscription based, then I'm not touching it. Subscription based, I don't think 
anyone except for Final Fantasy XIV is going to seriously consider that anymore. Because I think that's yeah. basically become an outdated model. With the rise of the microtransactions and whatnot. <laughs> Yeah, it's it'll be funny to see in ten years how stupid micro transactions look. Just like you know, putting quarters in a machine does today. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, know, games designed to eat quarters. Actually, that's a good point. It's a lot like the arcade stuff, isn't it? I was gonna say, yeah, in mm -hmm. ten years we'll just all be back on arcades. Yeah, it's micro transactions are similar to arcade stuff in that. Games are designed around their money system. Yeah, I mean, there are even some games where you could literally pay more to continue if you had lost, still. <laughs> like uh, Spiral Knights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grumble. <laughs> Audible Disgust. And always. Dungeon Fighter Online. Well, that doesn't exist and, anymore. And, uh... Elsword actually has the same thing. Sort of, mm. but Elsword gives you enough stamina that it doesn't matter. I didn't oh. mean stamina, I mean resurrection doodads. Oh, well, Elsword's uh. easy for most of it. I did actually <laughs> use yeah. some of my remaining Kaching. I love how they use that as the name, by the way. <laughs> um, I did actually use some of my Kaching oh. to pay for resurrections when I had like 80 of it and. I learned how stupid the Gate of Darkness things can be, so... <laughs> did I just... Not, I mean, not worth it, even for the nice stuff you could... You could maybe, if you were super really fussy like he gets to, yeah, not worth it. I think I picked oh up... Oh god, I forgot tomes were in the game. Do you want to add open very easy lock to your spell list? I think I already have that, honestly. <laughs> I forgot that that was a thing, and I didn't register when I picked it up, so it took me a little bit. Oh man, horse armor horse note. Horse armor note. <laughs> Dear reader, in celebration of the launch of our new boarding, barding, barding, boarding services. I don't know. Free set of horse armor to it's, bear it'll be, this. I think it'll be barding. To retrieve the reward, bring your favorite horse along with this notice. Oh man. Because you can't afford not to protect your horse. Actually, it's cheaper to not protect your horse, technically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just had the like the gold edition or whatever from Steam. Even though I owned just the base game before, I didn't want to. I couldn't be bothered to find the disc and install it and all that. <laughs> Damn you, Steam! <sighs> yeah. You know, maybe I should have bought Morrowind when it was on Super Sale and made fun of it. <laughs> I would probably then you'd have to play. Mo then you'd have to play Morrowind. I'm sure there's something you can do that's not as there's with as many options as it has. There's got to be at least one thing you can do in the combat system in Morrowind that isn't as bad as the rest. Like yeah, throw spells. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say play mage. You can't miss. Oh, you know what? You know what? The, my least favorite thing, as far as things that they took out that I wish they didn't. They, why did they remove spears? I like <laughs> spears. Oh man, athletics increase. Why walk when you can run has always been your motto. You are now an apprentice of athletics. What does that give you? Faster running? No, your rate of fatigue regeneration when running is increased by 25%. Which means that I recover fatigue while running when I previously didn't, I don't think. I guess, as far as MMOs are concerned, Guild Wars 2 did it pretty okay. Guild, Wars, a couple of things. Guild Wars 2 did a lot of things pretty okay. I mean, mm -hmm. dungeons... I mean, I've seen, a, I've seen a lot of threads about, oh no, dungeons are perfectly fine, and you can build any class to go into dungeons, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I've heard different... I've, yeah, no, I... <laughs> You yeah, know what? No. There, there, if you build for burst damage, you can't do dungeons. There weren't any rats in Black Rat Ramble. <laughs> Not a one. And as far and there's, I guess for other glaring problems. Acrobatics increase. He who shall not be named. Yeah, that guy. But mother, I want to be named. 
robot mother <laughs> that said this is my story. None of my characters have gone to the... Like, the only character who's met him is has met him at the point before he's gotten annoying. Yeah, he's <laughs> not <laughs> annoying in the Silvari intro, apparently. No, he's not. He's fine. You can tell that his voice is really bored, kind of bored, though, <laughs> probably. But mother... My favorite part is that when Traherne becomes... You know, you're, this is the buddy that you're going to have in all of your quests, or in all of your story missions. It's right after they kill off someone you really like. Aww. Who's a different person depending it's... on which thing you took. Yeah. And the way they, and the way they kill the them off one, is they're so, like, yeah. I am your favorite character, you must leave while I stand here and get me eaten by undead because it's heroic or something. <laughs> like... For most of for for most of them, it seems really out of character to do that. Maybe maybe not the uh, vigil guy, because he's like old battle. For the order of whispers, it was guy. actually completely in character. Oh well, for the for the mage for whatever it's pretty the, awesome for whatever the mage thing is, it was completely out of character. Because <laughs> she's like this happy bubbly, airhead lady, and then she's like, I must stay behind and die dramatically, for the good of the world, or something like that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think Morrowind was the game that had NPCs that went, seen any elves? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That's funny, because it's kind of the island where elves live. Yeah. It's kind of Dark Elfland. <laughs> yeah, and then it blew up. Way shine of Kiraneth. Kinnereth. Kinnereth. Go carefully upon nature's path. Pray at my chapel altar. Yeah, she's Let's the nature one. Okay. I got the blessings. Uh, was more uh, Ranger pets have been getting better and better in Guild Wars 2. Bears have a base he a base health of, I think, 33,000 now. That's the only thing good. I can I think of... I play my ranger. The only thing <laughs> that I think of with bears in Guild Wars 2 was mine getting blown around by the catapults all the time. <laughs> uh, Every time there was a siege weapon, he would just stand right in its path. <laughs> if I didn't... If my well, attention maybe, span wasn't maybe what they it was, just home in on the bear. <laughs> <laughs> my attention span what it wasn't, what, wasn't what it was. I'd probably go play more of it, but I have so much stuff to play. It's... Uh, I don't know. Meanwhile, my... I have so much stuff to play, but I only really want to play, like, a few things, but I'm waiting for <laughs> yeah, all no. of them to do something <laughs> yeah. specific. Like, I need to, I'm waiting for Starbound to wipe the characters again. I'm waiting for Elsword to start its New Year's thing so I can power level a character. Well, once, once Starbound does its final, its final wipe, I think that'd be the point where we could feasibly try multiplayer, because we'll have... We won't have yeah. the threat of ha having it just all blown away again. I don't know if it's confirmed that this next one is the final, final wipe, but it's probably going to be the last one for a while, so it might be worth it. I still don't know what yeah, race I want to be. they're upgrading their data systems. I still mm. don't know what race I, I want to choose. Because, like... I know what race I want to choose. Cause it's Stabby? Like, yeah. I mean, they look Stab. pretty, so... They do look pretty, but I like... I played this one for a while, that's my character that got the farthest, but A, pretty looks get covered up by all the armor you make, and B, they don't have much to say when they examine <laughs> things, and I'm actually really curious to know what's going on in the lore. <laughs> well, I guess you should play a, I guess you should play a bird to find out why the birds like bunnies. Yeah, but there, there's another thing I found when I was just screwing around a tiny bit earlier today is really interesting. I found one of those human prisons again, and they have posters of the big ape in them, in some places. Huh. And my the glitch that I had made just to screw around said something like, Suspicious, why would humans have posters of the big ape? So my theory is that those prisons are like holding cells for humans who they plan to turn into ape men, because that's how that works, I think. Hmm. They're like forcing people to become apes in addition to having natural ape reproduction or whatever. I don't know how the ape I know that the apes were people who injected something to do that. I think. 
But yeah. That's pretty interesting. I know that floor and stab. Yes, they do. It's funny because the story of the Florin that players play as is that they were tired of the way the Florins lived, but they still seem to like it anyway. <laughs> They're just well, like, I still like... like more of a... We... You know, like, I'm tired of stabbing things that are weak. I'm gonna stab things that are strong. I'm gonna stab things and then make a house out of them. Or something. <laughs> oh, we found... oh, they did that already. Well, they didn't really do much civilized junk on their main foreign <laughs> planet. They mostly just stab things. And eat meat. And junk. So this bandits. is another... This is another random ruin. It's got bandits in it this time. New topic, profit. Who what? Apparently <laughs> I am able to hear some NPCs talking about something in the distance. Yeah, Elder Scrolls games, I always, always turn on subtitles. Mm. And then I get really paranoid because I hear things that sound really suspicious but I can't see where they're coming from. Do you have to run across this? This pressure plate is broken. <laughs> Freaking. Or maybe it's just a really crappy one. Maybe it's already been activated. Yeah, it just looked like it hadn't. <laughs> Your shield won't save you. Silly bandit. I'm still really surprised how easy the arena questline was. Because I remember <laughs> I had to try m fights multiple times when I wasn't just punching things. Maybe they took Maybe out hand-to-hand you... -hand because it was too good. I don't know. <laughs> I think it is, like, crazy good early game. Even in Skyrim, it's apparently good early game, even though it's not a skill. What is? I Hand-to-hand. -hand punching. Mm. If, you pick, if you pick Argonian or Khajiit and have the claws damage bonus to it, apparently it's still really useful in early Skyrim. The Kaji bonus for claws is better than the Argonian one. Argonian's only like 5 extra damage, Kaji's 10. Oh. Hey, that guy had a magic well, axe, hmm. maybe. Or no, he poisoned Although, I like, I like playing Argonian because you don't have to enchant anything with water breathing because they just get it. Yeah, that's <laughs> a major reason to play Argonian. Just, especially since there actually is coastal areas where you can dive. What's with this statue? Speaking of Khajiit and the previous thing of Morrowind, it wasn't Morrowind like the most racist against them? Probably. As far he as was pretty as racist as against them, yeah. Morrowind was racist against basically every race. <laughs> Except maybe... True, Dark. because Dark Elves. <laughs> In what? Dark Elves are racist. I like all of their contraction swear words. Or whatever. <laughs> In what? Swit. What else? I don't remember. Mostly those two. <laughs> and they wonder why they, they're all race, racist-sized against? Racist-sized in against? Win, in, in, in Winhelm? Is that what we're gonna go for here? I don't know. Why they're they wonder why people don't Winhelm. like them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bandit down there, don't mind that that corpse just fell from the top floor. Although, statistically speaking, if you are going to be a vampire in Skyrim, Dark Elves, with their innate 50% fire resistance, counteract the 20% fire yeah. vulnerability that vampires get. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so Skyrim, like, part of the story is that High Elves took over everything, yeah? Yeah. Um, They're yeah. beginning and to. I it. think the reason for that is because they hacked the game and got rid of their hundred percent magicka weakness. They did. They start with fifty. They start with fifty extra mana. That yeah, before it was like they had twice the mana, but were weak to magic, which was a mm. cool thing. And you could also pick but a sign for them that was like also weak to magic, and they could just die <laughs> if they saw fire in the distance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless it was uh, the fire that they made everywhere because high, they had... High elves were also broken in Skyrim because um, movement speed 
is based on height. All races are the same height except high elves, which are slightly taller, and that increases their base move speed a bit. Seriously? Really very slightly. Yes, I that's actually... I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. Like, it's not, like, super noticeable, but it's, it, it exists. That's... You know, high elves are usually broken if I can help it, and I have their heads next to my weapons. <laughs> there are... I mean... Also, there's a... Also... Also, there's one quest in the main storyline where you have to sneak into the evil high elf, uh, a, a banquety council thing, yeah. and you can basically bypass all the guards only if you're a high elf, and you wear their special robes. You can try and wear their special robes as like an Argonian, and then they just go, then they just laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> I was an imperial, I believe. When I, I haven't beaten Skyrim's main stuff either. Neither, because I always go, ooh, I want to try this playstyle, and then start a new character, you know, I and would, I've done that, like, ten times. If I actually do anything, and, like, finish Oblivion streaming it, I would totally try streaming Skyrim 2, except it doesn't hide the regular computer mouse cursor, and that means oh, I have God. two cursors, and Skyrim that also has really low mouse sensitivity, so it drives me insane. I like low mouse sensitivity. Well, I th the, the the other cursor on the screen that only happens to me if I alt tab and then alt tab back into the game when I wasn't in a menu when I originally alt tabbed. Hmm. Maybe I can fix it. E even if you like low mouse sensitivity, consider that you can see two cursors and they both have different sensitivity settings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't you just turn the sensitivity? <laughs> like, can't you just make the mouse less sensitive, though? I think I just punched someone's shield out of their hand, and it rocketed into the corridor. Also, this is a humorous death positions going on right here. Possibly inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that shield get launched. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I'm over encumbered. Oh no. <laughs> Look oh my, Look that's very lewd. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I, I like the guy's face in this <laughs> corpse <laughs> bit. Um, I can toss my old stupid gladiator thing and probably some other armor bits. Twelve mythic dawn robes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't need those. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Those were all from the intro. <laughs> and then I just dump them onto these people. <laughs> now let's take a screenshot of the lewd corpse positions. You probably should have equipped that new, that other fur cuirass instead of dropping it. Oh. Because your current one is at 24 health and has lost its armor. I didn't notice that. Uh, oh, that's a And thing. your punching gloves are at 6 health. Armor degraded. Oh, yeah, wow. that's a thing. I forget if things break, do you lose the enchantment on them? Until I you don't repair it. No, I don't think so. So it really doesn't matter that much, honestly. <laughs> I have two repair hammers. Look at my wizardry. Uh, I'm going to. You can't. I I can't repair my hands because I have to be better at armory to repair magic things. Crap. Dun dun. Oh man, you kept your wrist irons too. Yeah. They actually look pretty no pretty alright. Not that I can use them, really. My armor is still increased. Yay. You need more hammers? Okay. <laughs> Armor's hammers are like the number one resource in this game, I swear. Yeah, I need to double check what I actually picked as my skills. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so armor, no whether or not to level. armor isn't in the skills that I picked. Good. So the way to play this game is to pick the skills you'll never use? That's one way. Yeah, or, or to min-max. Which you do by yeah. still doing Picking that, Picking only some skills that you use. Yeah. Because each, each skill you level up... Like, gives... Or makes a certain stat able to be increased more the next level. Mm -hmm. I'm not even really trying to sneak. 
at this point <laughs> for some reason. Skulls and booze. Oh man. Right. Bandana Stan is here now. Bandana and Yoshi 86 up. And Yoshi 86 up. Oh, I can't say that fast without messing that up for some reason. And <laughs> and uh, Tom and there's only one Tom right now. People. Hello everyone. Hello people. I haven't really been saying we've, hello. We've kind of been chat. talking to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are. That's good. We've had a, a good discussions going. Ooh, a Varla stone. That's the big fancy Yay. ones that are worth. Those are the ones that count as enchantment stones. I think so. Or they're worth a thousand. Yeah, I forget if they're enchantment stones or if it's like. Uh, I have a lot of money. Wow. I guess you have a lot of money when you don't have to buy weapons. I don't know. I never did much weapon buying, even with weapons. Hmm. I, I think I used all my money on spell making. Oh, there was a bandit following me the entire time. <laughs> Who had some luck draining poison. <laughs> I will poison the luck right out of your body. Oh no. It's anti leprechaun juice. Question. I don't mind. think I've, like. On my current Skyrim playthrough, I don't think I've bought a single piece of armor or weaponry. Oh, have you just found everything? Because I'm, because I'm a thief. Oh, you found everything in quotes. Then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the the problem is though, as long as no one's looking at you, you can just take stuff, and it's like. Yeah. This. No problem. <laughs> this conspicuous. And you can make people not look at you by putting baskets on their heads. <laughs> this conspicuous glowing thing is meaningless. But like. Sneak levels really like I leveled up really fast in the in at the beginning of the game because I just snuck every because it's just lots of sneak attacks which really levels sneak in the early game. Yeah, sneaking levels really fast in Skyrim. That is true. And it's really broken. Yeah, probably. I've never actually tried putting buckets on people. Neither have I. But I've heard it. It's it's. A thing. Oh, is this a sleeping bandit? Yes. But I think what's the most broken thing about sneak attacking is once you get the uh, like about it about to like sixty, I think, which doesn't take very long. Mm -hmm. You can get a perk which <laughs> sneak attacks with daggers deal fifteen times damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can. Man. Oh man, right in the liver. Yeah, punching that guy straight out of bed. Very nice. <laughs> Boing. Oh my god, why didn't you cast open very easy lock? Oh wait, because they're really easy to unlock. Also, I would level up my alteration conceivable, possibly, maybe, by doing that, and that would be bad. Oh yeah. Even though I have to level up things a lot to actually get to the point where I could level accidentally. Then, and even then, I'd have to sleep somehow. And the game can't force you to sleep, I don't think. And at least you'd probably get five in every stat you wanted. At this point, probably, yeah. Because I've leveled up hand-to-hand -hand and sneak enough. Enough of this boring ruin. That's kind of what I was thinking, except I took it in a random direction instead of making it that actual song. I thought that might be the case. Yeah. Why are you sneaking through a place you've already been? Uh, okay, you're habit. done. <laughs> sneaking <laughs> is habit, okay. That just reminds me for some reason that at some point in my life, I walked on tiptoe everywhere. I don't know why. Bandit Carrier? Carrier of what? Is he, like, diseased? Carrier has arrived. Is he diseased? Are you diseased? <laughs> He's stronger than an average bandit. 
I guess he's their carry. Oh, that could be it. Now he's as dead as an average It's bandit. not that he's stronger than an average bandit. I think it's just that he casts shield on himself. Dwarven Coherer. What is that? This might. This must be some random side quest nonsense. Except it didn't trigger anything. Hmm. I'm just gonna re replace. So my... that's how. So that's how that 3D world super speed ice glitch works. Say, say what? In 3D world, if you crouch, apparently I'm not sure if it only works with Peach, but you just have to crouch repeatedly while you're running on ice, and then it's you speed up incrementally. <laughs> oh, okay, that's weird. Oh, I guess because it's got like the uh, sitting on butt physics in that game. Hmm, but it only works on ice. That's a bit silly. You should wear that ring. Oh my god, you did wear that ring. You heard me in the future. Oh man. There are other people in this camp who okay. probably want me dead. Like this man. Uh, yeah, oh no, my personality is being drained because he's cutting my prettiness off or something. <laughs> What's the matter, Bonk? Ow. Okay. <laughs> You'll make a fine rug, cat. I am really glad they don't say that in this game. Corn, lettuce, rice. Oh man, time to make potions. Uh, Speaking of potions, one of my one of the easiest freaking ways to make money in Oblivion is do Mage Guild quests. You're a member of the Mage Guild now. Open up their cabinets, take all of their alchemy devices, and then sell them to them. Oh. <laughs> Because they're, you know, you're allowed to use them. Oh yeah, I specifically don't have alchemy in case I do any alchemy. Do <laughs> I still have that mortar and... Yeah, I do. Oh man, it's going to give me the tutorial on alchemy right now if I click that. Yeah. Hey, cat butt. I bet you're going to be whiny, aren't ya? Random ingredients, apple, bread, cheese, corn. Oh uh... man, what a waste of ingredients. You're going to make stamina potions so hard. So many stamina potions. And they're going to be really heavy stamina potions. Can they do that? Hmm? You mean like they can actually be really heavy? Or what? Uh, yeah, the weight of the materials actually changes the weight of the potion. Like oh. if you make it out of cheese wheels, it's really... It's like a unit of one instead of point two. Oh dear. That's... Also, you only need two ingredients, I think. Yeah. But... But, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> so all food goes together. Pretty much. Yeah, all food starts with restore fatigue. But all food has mystery effects. So you don't know if you can trust lettuce. Yeah. I think strawberries oh. are one of the things that gets restore health. I was able to actually make a health, one health potion. So sweet. Oh yeah, venison. Yeah. So what are all of these Meat. crappy restore fatigue? Oh my, and there's so many of them, and they're all dumb. <laughs> you can sell all of them. Yeah, I can. I probably will. Because in this game, you can sell infinite things to people. Because the money is only the limit on how much they can pay instead of being an actual amount of money that they have. Yeah. There's a fort over here. Oh no, It's it, weird that they oh, got God, rid of an, that and then a, they brought it back. It's a Nern root. I found a Nern root. Nern root, oh no. Oh, I can see the ring on my punch fist. I just noticed it. <laughs> As opposed awesome. to my not punch fist. <laughs> As opposed to my casual fist, for <laughs> or my fist for formal occasions. Wait, did Skyrim bring back the thing where all mages just sort of run around with their hands waving in front of their face? I don't remember. Because I know in I think it did Morrowind because that was a thing. Because when you equip a spell, you put.
put your hands up in front of your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, really it, I think, I think it did because you had to equip... Sp you have contracted droops! Oh no! <laughs> a necromancer gave that. me the droops. <laughs> I got the droops. What a thing to come back to. I don't know what to say other than I got the droops a lot because it sounds funny. Shut up, necromancer. <laughs> My blunt is being drained. Oh no. Insert joke about drug use here. <laughs> What's this bloody yeah. altar? I didn't want to. I didn't want to. It's just labeled altar. Bit. Okay. Oh, it's a loot thing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit on it. <laughs> I'm in third person models. I'm a New Year's cucumber quest. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I saw the New Year's Cucumber Quest. It's just a big old splash page. Like, mm. P.S. by the way, Noisemaster. <laughs> he is still a thing. So this is a, this is Fort Necromancer. Okay. Necromancers are wusses. They can't take punches. They just try to put ghosts in front of them. And it doesn't work out. And they have lots of potions and scrolls and stuff to take, that's... Yeah. Oops, I accidentally <laughs> pressed the unsneak button instead of the walk slowly button. He shot like a whirlwindy thing at you, you walked right past it and punched him in. <laughs> well, the whirlwindy yeah, thing was him trying to summon a ghost, oh. ghost yeah. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Wow, their cast time is kind of long. Oh man, necromancers and their artsy... They have artsy banners that they probably made themselves. <laughs> they, this one is just literally running away through doors after summoning a thing. And then, then they shot a rat that appeared. Which distracted them long enough for me to punch them. Okay... <laughs> Necromancers are kind of... Idiots? Kind of derp. All of their little banners here remind me of, like, the player banner in Diablo 3 that you can customize. Because there's lots of skull options. You know, necromancers should be able to raise themselves after I kill them. That would make them more effective. It would be fun. Oh, oh no, you killed the necromancer's resident exterminator. <laughs> yep. yeah. All of these guys are dying in like one hit. Soothing touch tone. Cool, that sounds like a something for healing people that aren't you. That, Which, why would you ever want to do that? I don't know, it sounds... In case you want to heal the adoring fan? It sounds like it's That's, it that's might... not a thing, you can't... No, that's not a thing, though. Soothing Touch is mistake, not a heal spell, it's a calm spell from Illusion. Oh, that's a good spell, then. Calm up to level 2 calm for 15 is... seconds. <laughs> Calm Which... is pretty awesome. I used it on my sneaky archer because, like, oh no, this guy got right in front of me. Just Jedi hand wave, walk away, sneak, shoot them. Yeah, it has uses. I don't know if it's good enough level to actually work on anything. Mm -hmm. Well, it probably will be because you're not leveling up ever. I found a book called Darkest Darkness. <laughs> I think I, I found think... this last time, too. That's an illusion spell, right? Uh, what? Calming touch? The, the cal yeah. 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 Did I pick illusion? Take yes, I the did. The only time I've ever actually used an illusion spell was oh, was, oh god, this room is full of bandits I can't kill. Uh, <laughs> Let's have them fury. kill each other? Fury! Run away. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I wish <laughs> I had Frenzy's fury. Great. Frenzy. I really wish Frenzy, I had it. Frenzy at the end of the arena questline so I could make the guy actually fight me anyway. <laughs> He was like he's like level ten though. I though. probably I w probably would have tried it and then 
just speed him up. Hello? Who's there? Then again, you did like stand behind him, punch him four sneak. times with sneak attacks, and in the butt. that was it. Speaking of sneak attacking people, yay! Necromancers fly a little bit farther because they don't have armor on. Maybe I'm not <laughs> sure. It looked like they flew in a little bit of a slow motion there. Restoration increased. All right, that's one of the ones that's not in my list. Because it's the only one I <laughs> plan to actually use. Did you know that if you make an ice spell with a large area, it actually is like a giant cloud of ice that flies? That's cool. Does that apply to other elements? Hey, no walking um, at normal speed I when believe... I'm trying to sneak up on you. I believe lightning pierces through things for a distance equal to its area, and fire explodes in an area. Uh, is that in this I think game I made a fire spell that did... Hmm? Is that this game specifically? Because spells work differently in the different... Yeah, that's this game specifically. Okay. Yeah, because this game has spellcrafting. That necromancer in Morrowind, had... all area spells were explode on land. That necromancer had um, more fortify fatigue pants, which are actually just called that. <laughs> you're dead, and you're running away. Come back. I don't like your hair. Okay. <laughs> he had that monk hair. <laughs> it doesn't work on That hair that says, I don't want to live. It's not the sort of hairstyle a necromancer should have. <laughs> Wait, necromancer. No, okay. it really isn't. Necromancer robes aren't automatically enchanted like they are in Skyrim, so they're not worth anything. Oh, kitty, you're so fluffy and cute. Oh no, an average lock. If only I had been born under the tower. <laughs> oh no, uh, I broke all of my lock. Let's see, fifty-fifty chance. Tash. <laughs> Which cat? Hmm? Which cat? Oh, is it? it's Tosh. Yes! Hooray. I mean, it was a 50-50 chance, but still. <laughs> <laughs> no, it could have been some sort of alien cat from nowhere. You don't know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe... Tosh, are you an alien cat from nowhere? No, she's not. Given that the Elder Scrolls universe has a location called Elsewhere, there's probably a place called Nowhere. <laughs> Elsewhere is the cat region, also. It took me so long to realize that the Khajiit just lived in a place called Elsewhere. Because <laughs> it's Elsewhere. Yeah, but they actually, they just pronounce it as Elsewhere. <laughs> even if it's spelled funny. Yeah. So, cats from Elsewhere, dragons are from nowhere. Something like that, maybe. All right, let's go to a different area of this fort that's labeled as the Hall of Knights. <laughs> oh man, I almost had got a sneak attack on a guy who was right in front of the door, but not quite. Uh, so did did you figure out whether the, the where it, where it said with nine with a nine DLC? Did we figure out whether that was nine separate DLCs or if that was just for Knights of the Nine? Uh, you mean for this game? I think. Was it? Yeah. Uh. It probably meant the Knights of the Nine, I don't know. I mean, the version I got has all the stuff. Which is why I have the mm. horse armor note. Because <laughs> no one in their so right it, mind would buy that normally. Does horse armor actually like give the horse defensive bonuses, or was no it just idea. aesthetic? I have no idea. I'm gonna look it up. I have never even bothered owning a horse in Oblivion. <laughs> So much spell scrolls and potions to take. Yes. I don't Your know. Inventory seems a lot bigger than mine ever was. Um, I have strength as a major attribute, and my sign boost also, so I can carry 275 pounds. Yeah, that's probably it. Because I think I could usually carry like 160. You favored the. Like different character types, then I guess. For most, yeah. for, for 
Okay, for most horses, the health doubles but with a max of 750. That's a really lot of health. I used, like, almost all of my locks on that chest, but I got another ring, I guess? So. Not an enchanted one. Rings should totally add to your punch damage. Rings do nothing unless worn. Sometimes rings do nothing when worn. <laughs> For $2.50, you can increase your horse's health. Or add the ability to increase horse's health to your game. <laughs> yeah, the best part is, or you could just go and get the horse that just stands up after it dies. Why does the character wear rings on their index finger? I just noticed. Who's there? Because they're not married. The ring finger isn't the married finger. It's a ring finger. <laughs> well, um... All, all, all fingers capable of wearing rings are fingers to wear rings on. I guess. So, but... Oh, Tosh is making sad sounds. Huh. I didn't see this coming at all. It only happens every time she comes in my room. Yeah, you look dejected. <laughs> Alright, we're done with this random fort, I guess. Maybe I'll actually I'm get to Kvatch, I don't know. Currently, my Oblivion streams have been about two hours, and this is, at present, an hour and a half. <laughs> so, oh, I've, I've got nothing to do for the rest of a while. Yeah, neither do Sorry, I. Can I... <laughs> is this a cave I already explored? Probably not, given that it's right. I think I might have to start skipping some random locations and just pick based on how dumb the name is. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's one of those hills that I can't walk up without jumping. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, free ac acrobatics training. You found Sandstone Cavern. That doesn't sound exciting enough. Also, there are imps next to it. We've already dealt with them today. Actually, you know, if you're not going to be leveling up, there's a slight problem with that. You'll never fight new enemies. Yeah. And? <laughs> I'll never get super great <laughs> armor either. But... Well, you'll get some super great armor, because some of it doesn't care what level you are, it's just good. Yeah, I guess. See, in addition to making the game playable, by not leveling up, I'm demonstrating how dumb the level up system is. It's a <laughs> multitask of sorts. You might have a wee bit of trouble with the, the Shivering Isles, though. I don't even know if I'm going to do that. I don't even know if I'm going to beat the main game. <laughs> True that. I Good probably night, should. Tom. Good night, Tom. I probably should do the Shivering Idols, because Shio Gorath is usually funny. Yeah, he's kind of awesome. And in the Shivering Isles, you become Shio Gorath spoilers, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I already know what happened. No, you become Jigalag. Oh, wait. <laughs> that name sounds a lot dumber. Jigalag. <laughs> it sounds a lot dumber than it should. <laughs> ha, take that, Mountain. I don't obey <laughs> physics or... Gravity, I guess. This sort of go hand in hand. Am, where am I? Oh, I am Is there on. Is a mod for Skyrim that turns all horses into goats? Because I think that would make a lot more sense. Um, I don't know, but I know that there are mods that turn them into My Little Ponies. <sighs> and they look as out of place as you would expect. Which has humor in it somewhat. <laughs> oh, you're in the backside of Kvatch. Yeah, I'm it circling around. Yeah. I, uh, it's reconnaissance or something. Elder Scrolls games have a lot of situations where I tend to be running around the city walls to get to the entrance. Because <laughs> I always get in the wrong way. Yeah. 
I know that feel, bro. You know, one thing about Morrowind that was actually good was I think Morrowind had a habit of just like hiding little cool secrets everywhere. Yeah. I don't think Oblivion or Skyrim really do that. Like, you can't find a cool special weapon in a nook or cranny or something. Yeah. In Morrowind, there was uh, there was this one place that was all really ornate, and there was a big chest with nothing in it, and behind the chest, fallen behind it, was a really good weapon. <laughs> hmm. This doesn't look good. Well, I can just walk up to the Oblivion Gate right here. I thought you were supposed to do a few things before the Oblivion Gate here. Well, like someone runs up and talks to you if you're you go in the you know the way you're supposed to. Isn't there like a castle sequence, or is that after the gate? No, that's actually after you close this gate. Okay, I guess I should talk to this. Dude. You have to. <laughs> Stand back, civilian. I'm not a civilian. Oh, Tosh. No... Tosh, you're so cute. Oh my god. It was too much. Some made it to... and now we can... Okay, I'm gonna let this adorable to... kitty out. Okay. You want hmm. Are you I don't you can see I sent men if you the best Alright, I guess I have to do the oblivion gate before we can solve the rest of the problem. I went to get food, okay. and I come back, and there's a hell portal. Yeah. Well, um, see you guys later, because my plug-and-play service has been corrupted, and it's about to explode. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, uh, have fun. I'll let the cat out while the computer restarts itself, and it'll be done before I get back, because it's really fast. Multitasking. Oh, Welcome to the plane of oblivion. This is a portion of the plane of Oblivion, but it looks the same as most of the other portions of the Plane of Oblivion. Did you visit? Yes, including the layout. The layout is identical in a lot of them. Because as far as I remember, or know, Planes of Oblivion, it's more like this... There's Oblivion, which is the whole thing, but then within that, each Daedric Prince has their own subplane within it. Yeah, something like that. So this is so, all is like... Is it that or is Oblivion one of the Daedric Prince's things? No. Oblivion oh, okay. is all of them. Oh, okay. Like, when, whenever you summon a, a, like a Daedra... Right, right. They, they're summoned from Oblivion. This is a lousy like, place to live. <laughs> like, in Skyrim, you can see the mark of Ob that's on Elder Scrolls, the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion mark. It's the, I don't know, symbol of Oblivion. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is Meruin's Dagon's... Fiery Lavery, I'm a two-headed death god place. Too bad he couldn't afford to not copy-paste environments. Fleshy Pot, um, that's my favorite. Uh, Hamius Mora, which is the... I'm a big... Cthul I think he's supposed to be Cthulhu-esque. Big tentacly, tentacly guy. His realm is the whole sky is green with tentacles coming down, but that's actually him. Oh. So he's like really massive. So he always knows where you are, probably. <laughs> yeah, that. It would be funny if there was some sort of being like that, and they were actually rather pleasant. To talk oh, to I, you actually do well. You do dealings with him, and do stuff for him. Yeah, but he's in... still probably evil, right? Oh. Well, not every Daedric Prince is quote, is evil. Yeah, but I think he is. Oh, well, probably, yeah. Not every Daedric Prince is even, like, a prince. Because they can't have no. Daedric Princesses. Oh, what? I died! What is this? Madness. What? I actually died. Oh. Okay, you haven't died yet, so I can see what killed you. I think I was being shot by fireballs. Hey, your health looks good. Suddenly, your health gets chunked down a heap by streams of fire. Yeah. And you didn't even see where it was from. Nope. I mean, I can get hit by these regular scamps throwing fire at me all day and it doesn't do anything. So I wonder. 
I'll just have to quick save constantly, like more than I was. <laughs> Unlike good. most princes, Himaeus Moore does not yeah. take on a humanoid form at all, manifesting instead as a grotesque assembly of eyes, tentacles, and claws, or a featureless purple vortex. Depending on how much they want to, like, put into the assets at the time, I guess. <laughs> I can either be a giant mass of disgusting, ridiculous crap, or a void. It depends on how much you can load. Oh. Really. Here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a picture from Skyrim. That's not going to be very helpful while I'm streaming. <laughs> no, but I'm just going to link it in the... Alright. I'll, I'll link it in the stream chat. For those of you who want to see the Daedric Prince of Asmore true form. That'll be fun because they'll see the picture before you get to the point where you're talking about what it is, so... You'll just have linked a giant monstrosity for no reason. They'll something. find out why soon enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of spoiler for me because I haven't actually... Because that's part of the Dragonborn DLC. Oh. And I haven't gone oh. to Soul's time yet. But no, he actually, he actually looked... Not that bad. Like, he's, he's well done, I think, graphically. I mean, he looks derpy as all hell, but... <laughs> I think I'm back to the point where I was chunked down by fire, or at least close to it. Is it this? this looks... Okay, yeah. Each Daedric Prince has a separate realm within Oblivion. Okay. You might have, some of them might have shown up in like Morrowind, I want to say. And maybe even oh, in Skyrim? Well, Were there any bl bits in an Oblivion? Oh, bleh, 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 you know. Bits of Oblivion. Um, well, you go to Apocrypha, which is, is more than Dragonborn, you go to his realm. Hmm. Um... Uh, I don't think so. you, you, you can do a quest for each, each of the Daedric Princes, but... Um, you actually see the hu have You see the humanoid forms of Nocturne? Um... The Tower Portal to the Blood Feast. <laughs> Oblivion buildings all have names like that. Mm. The Blood Feast. This is also where you can find magical items with names like the Burden of Agnosticism. <laughs> that sounds like a Dreadmoor item name. It really does. Like, if you think, try thinking about that name seriously for a moment. What kind of burden does an agnostic have? I can tell you right now, none whatsoever. Yeah, <laughs> that's I know. The point. Because that's also, <laughs> I would classify myself as agnostic. Hmm. Not having a burden is the whole point of it. <laughs> yeah. Any burdens that I have are not related to religion. At present. So yeah, I guess Daedra are starting to show up too. The story goes to the rending halls. So, because you, if you just stay at level 1 for the whole game... Mm-hmm. Does that mean you're not really restricted where you can go at all? Correct. Enemies everywhere skill with you. So I'll never really see new enemies either. Yeah. Well, every uh, Isn't it just... Oh, it's the exact same enemy wearing better armor. Sometimes, but not always. Like, I, we probably won't be seeing any Atronox or anything like that. Or higher level Daedra type monsters. Look, Welcome um, back, Chompy. Well, in the stream chat, but yeah. Daedra peasants. Is that what churl means? I don't know. Might it as well. Must be. They're level 1 after all. Or scaled 2. They're level the lowest they can be. Whatever that is. Oh, I just went backwards. With that level, you aren't going to see magic alligators. Oh no. That's a thing. How terrible? I, in my mind, I envisioned that as spell casting alligators, that, and just that. Nothing. I, I remember <laughs> said alligators, actually. So, are they. 
they're well, he's a magic alligator. They are they're just they they're they're a, a different kind of Dremora or Daedra or something. They're not human. They look more like alligators, but not exactly. I don't remember uh. what they do to attack or anything. But they're alligator like monsters. That's what they look like. Okay, I have to go back to the Blood Feast and continue up the spiral ramp. Hey, at least Oblivion is wheelchair accessible. <laughs> That's nice of them. Pity that Elder Scrolls hasn't invented the wheelchair yet. I don't. Actually, I think there was a wheelchair in. No, it wasn't a wheelchair. It was like a weird spider machine in Morrowind. Because there was like the last remaining dwarf who was inflicted with corpus disease, so he was big and bloated and on a spider thing. And I never actually got to him, I just saw his picture in the guide textbook that I had. I never oh, actually right. got anywhere in Morrowind. Dwarves have been extinct for ages, but Morrowind has one. It has the last one, yeah. Well, for now, until Bethesda decides, hey, let's bring another last dwarf in. Yeah, well, yes. I mean, they already... In Dawnguard, they have the last sane and sentient Falmer. I didn't know sentient Falmer existed. Or sane Falmer, or whatever. He's he's one who didn't go in, like... Because like Falmer the one. are an enemy type that you fight in Skyrim anyway, right? Yeah, they're snow elves which were corrupted by Dwemer and then forced to eat they're fungus more... which made them go blind and feral. They seem more... they seem rather goblinoid, if I remember correctly. Mm. The, uh, uh, one of the thing, one of the lore things is um, humanoid races um, have black souls where, and non-sentient races have white souls and Falmer have white souls. Oh. And I... Oh. <laughs> I forgot that the Strumora talks to you in the crazy echoey voice. He's like, YOUR SOUL IS MINE! And I killed him in one hit. So, uh... Yeah. Strumora Sigil Keeper. Quickly, quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The Sigil Keep, they call it. That's what keeps the Oblivion Gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Her I can't get this guy out of this cage, can I? I guess he doesn't really care. Take the key. Don't worry Don't worry about me get moving, he says. Yeah, he's one of those guys. Uh am I supposed what, to What, so you wanna be stuck here? Okay, fine. Well I don't know. <laughs> He's probably got a Daedra fetish or something. Probably. That seems like something that would be in the Elder Scrolls universe. Oh, I have to call for an elevator. <laughs> a death spike elevator. A corpse oh man, those masher, are the best ones. as it was called. Oh, I see. It descends onto spikes. Just in case your elevator made your commute too boring, I guess. Let's put death spikes in it. Is there anything actually down here? Uh, that doesn't seem safe at all. <laughs> Seems like an, that seems like a health and safety issue. I don't think there's actually anything here. So I have to ride the Corpse Masher back up. Yeah, it just looks like it, there's nothing. Yep. Just a place to punch some imps at. Or scamps or whatever. 
I thought the way to proceed was there is more in the upper level, but I guess that's just grabbing a key. Now I have to walk back along the narrow and spiky passage point. You know, I appreciate the evil of their design aesthetic, but I think they're really inconveniencing themselves, too. Probably. A little bit, at least. Ah. This door needs a key. I don't know where the keyhole is, but... Good enough. Uh, it's magical. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Chumpy said Dwarves confirmed playable in Elder Scrolls Online, and I'm not sure if she's joking or not. I could believe I it. <laughs> I think that's a response to the, oh, but Bethesda could just bring them back for whatever reason. Probably. And just like an escalation thing of that. Probably, but, but I would believe it if yeah. it was actually. So we, there are loot containers here called The Punished, which have gold in them, I guess. Hooray. Oh wait, hang on. These are the corridors of dark salvation. I didn't. What's it? Blood forest. Blood feast. Feast. Still blood feast. Uh, wait, no, that's going backwards. As identical as these areas are, you'd think I'd have an idea of what to do with them. Did I miss a path in... No, I... Hmm. Okay, so that still doesn't conf confirm whether you were being sarcastic or not. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I guess it doesn't. Oh man, am I lost? This is such a lame place to be lost in. Okay, so that's just like a balcony. Yeah. It looks like it should connect to something, but... I guess there must be more than one door that uses a key. Perhaps. Must be. Because there's nothing else up there. This is the door that the map wants me to take. Whatever difference that makes. Maybe it just wants you. Maybe you need to be back out in Blood Feast, and that's just the quickest way it knows there. Could be. All right. Let's follow the map and see where it leads us. I don't really trust it that much. Wants me to leave. I guess there's probably another tower then. Uh, I can't zoom out. What quest objective am I even supposed to be following? There's more to punch over here, so I guess that might be correct. Loading area. <laughs> oh yeah, there's more crap over here. Separate tower entire. Wait, where's the other... oh, there he is. Hey. I don't know, chat says you have you just have to look harder on the upper floors, but I didn't see like a single thing. Yeah. Chat says a lot of things. I don't know. This gate is opened elsewhere. 
happy. Exploring. Hooray. Definitely multiple towers. Hmm. Maybe if the map was actually useful, you'd know where to go. And there's a place called Meat Harbor, so there's that. <laughs> the Meat Harbor. Wow. Maybe it's in that big center tower? That would make sense. I probably just needed like a separate. Whoa. There are landmine plants. I forgot about that. Probably gotta find like a different entrance or something. Hell is inconvenient architecture. Inconvenience is the definition of hell. Yup. Is this the same entrance that I went in? Yes, probably. Well, there are like a million doors. Already been over there. Aha, here we go. Choppy, if you were in the call, you could have told me that earlier, maybe. I don't know. Ruined portal to the Blood Feast. Portal. It just teleports me up, I guess. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Doors. It's alright, I found where I'm supposed to be. Oh, hi. Why can't I take your armor? It's like the best heavy armor in the game. Except it just being aesthetic on you. Because you suck. this structure. Oh, well, they give me a Dremora mace. It's not a Daedric mace, it's not the same. Uh, this is not... Okay. Yeah. 
The noises these guys make, seriously. Oh. Yeah. There was more than one of you. Still. And we gotta walk up the weird bloody wing structure kind of thing. And hello. How are you, Sigilstone? Doink. Zoom. Done. What's the sigil stone? Oh no, my hands are broken. My gloves, anyway. Damn it. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. I, my mic was muted briefly. Oh man, this sigil stone is absorb endurance 5 points for 30 seconds on strike and or resist disease resistance of resist the uh, on self. That was how to say words. Hmm. Uh, what can I put this on? I guess I could put disease resist on my armor? Maybe I'll save that when I have something that's not fur. <laughs> I can't... In oh, I could put it on like a ring or something, actually. Hmm. Some idea. Ring of resist disease. Sure, why not? Oh, I can put a name in for it. Uh, you can name the ring? You can name stuff when you put sigil stones in it, yeah. Oh. Hmm. I don't have anything <sighs> clever in mind. You must enter a valid name. Oh no. I'll just put ring of resist disease because I'm lame. So I can remember what it does, also. True. Do I automatically equip it? Because I had it equipped. No, I have to put it back on. Okay. Hooray! Let's go talk to that guy. I guess. Hey, what's up? I solved half of your problem. Let's go fix the other half. Close the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance. So is the other half just the same thing again? No. This is running into the castle. Oh. Oh, because it's um the Kavach. Yeah. Oblivion gates do start randomly popping up though. So you can get more sigil stones, I guess. Yep. And possibly some other magic equipment. So how much do you actually have to... Like, how many story quests are there to actually get to the final end of the game? I have no idea. I do know that if you finish the story, the random oblivion gates go away. Which is kind of annoying. Oh man. For kabach. And, and junk. I think... This is a lame name for a town, to be honest. I think the only thing I really, really know about Oblivion is that the main character turns out to be Shiobarath. Yes, that is true. Or turns in... Or, or like, was originally, or turns into. I'm not sure how Shiobarath works, probably, besides the fact that he's crazy. Probably both because of how nuts he is. But <laughs> if you do Shivering Isles, you become Shiogorath. And I suppose that's canon. So, oh, yeah. he, sh he shows up in, like... He shows up in Skyrim, but I'm assuming yeah. that someone like him could probably change form easily. Let's get in there and make sure they're alright. Come on. 
I don't feel like listening to all the NPC dialogue. Time to look it up and... Because he's in Morrowind as well, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think in Morrowind, he's more of a minor bit part who gives you a quest to go kill a giant thing with a fork. <laughs> I, I forget what the giant floating things in Morrowind are called. Sir, we're all that's left. Inion, oh, the Shivering Isles is his realm. Yeah. Okay. There's no one else. There were others, sir, but they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous, but they left anyway. I guess. Sure. Sure, it's my thing. These people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. With the giant floating things in Morrowind called Netches. You will, I think. Once they're secure, get back here immediately. You have to kill an especially large one with a fork for a sheer Sir, yes, sir. And as a reward, you get an actual it's weapon, I think. Okay, so blah, 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 blah. Shelgrath was once actually Jigalig. Yeah. Daedric Prince of Order. Other Daedric, he was really powerful. They grew jealous. They cursed him to be Shelgrath, the Daedric Prince of Madness. Because they can do that, I guess. Yeah, so he's both. We've done it. I can't believe it. I didn't really. Oh yes, we're not done. Not even close. You've come this far with us. I warn you, though. But, uh, at the end of each era, he can uh, he can take back his true form for like one little thing to to return order before. Blah blah blah, turning back, spreading madness again. Um, cha the champion, which I'm assuming is the you, is dead. I'm um, like champion of Kvatch. Yes. Uh, end the cycle by defeating him during the Grey March, release him from the curse. What plan? What you oh, you're just named the new Shiogarath because Shiogarath himself doesn't exist anymore because you made sure he couldn't. Oh. Okay. What can you sure. possibly know <laughs> make sense of this? Emperor Uriel Septim. Yo, sup, Martin? You the Emperor is your father? Your, no, the Emperor is your father. What's up? An entire city destroyed to get at me? Because I'm the Emperor. I don't know. Why would I lie to you? <laughs> what a dumb dialogue. I think you might actually Not option. The truth. <laughs> you destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. Yes. Oh, I guess I was probably supposed to... Hmm. Actually, wait. Unless you need... I'll tell him to wait My... here. Because finishing the castle thing and taking him to the Priory are two different things. And I don't want to have him in the castle where he's likely to die. Are you ready to go? <laughs> Our goal is the I don't you know like it when NPCs <laughs> laugh in this game. <laughs> when you're talking to them. They don't move, like, at all. Not even their mouths. And it just goes, ha 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 ha. Yeah. Fork of Harpalation. A fork that drains the user's magicka. <laughs> it's also the only utensil you can equip as a weapon. Oh, that's right. You can turn things into sweet rolls with the Weber Jack. Is that what it does in... Marvel? Well, that's one of the things it does in Skyrim. Oh. <laughs> Wait, why are they yelling about murder? Effect. Did I accidentally punch one of the guards? Uh, Maybe. Probably. So, the known effects in Skyrim. Fireball, common. Thunderbolt, common. Frost rune, heals, disintegration. Summons a mud crab or a daedra, a rabbit or a chicken. The wabajack is fun. Um, dispels summons occasionally. Um, transforms things into a fountain of septums, random books, or a sweet roll, or a dramora, cast invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> instant, four different instant kills. Unequips target's armor. Target explodes. Yep. And turns into go through remains and scattered golden pitchforks. 
changes the target's armor. Damn it. Uh, decapitation, reanimation, no effect. Swap places with the target, replace enemies with random amounts and get <laughs> with random amounts and kinds of cheese. Yup. That's your graph. <laughs> yup. The fun one fun thing is if you get the Wabajack from the quest and then you use the console commands, you can dual wield Wabajacks. We solve the stuff from the We'll be Gotta go talk to a specific person down here somewhere. Or uh Oh wait. <clears throat> oh, okay, they're actually uh Oh this guy. I'm just waiting for Captain Yes. If the stuff's effect that transforms the target into a mud crab is cast on a mud crab, it will grow larger. If I don't make it, take the. All right, let's go to the gatehouse or whatever. I'm not even paying attention to the NPC dialogue enough. It has a higher chance of turning the dwarven centurions, which are the giant crossbow-armed things, into sweet rolls. Really. Interesting. Apparently. I don't think I ever actually tried using the Wabajack as a legitimate, like, <laughs> no, combat <didn't> application. <laughs> because it's completely random what it does. The only, the only thing I did with it is, like, go into a building full of people, save state, and then screw around for half an hour. <laughs> or rather, quick save, I suppose. I did like that you could cheat the... because it, everything has charges in Skyrim. But if you have fortify, like for, like fortify whatever spell school the enchantments from to 100 percent, so spells of that school co don't cost any magic at a cast. Enchantments of that type don't drain any. Really? Like yeah. yeah. That's interesting. So it, so you can have infinitely sustained enchantments on stuff. I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. Hmm. So you'll, I think a lot of builds have all their armor is fortified with like whatever kind of weapon they use and enough fortified destruction um, re reduction cost so they can have ridic like ridiculous weapon enchantments that don't cost them anything to keep using. I think it, uh, which, I think one of the best things or one of the easiest playstyles in Skyrim is being a conjuration specialist. Yes. Because you can I mean, having to, like, like summon bound sword. Hit well, the bound weapon, it. like the bound bow, is the best bow in the game. Seriously, you can't even get like a yeah. physical bow that's better. The only um, problem I'm is that it sure. you takes quite a bit of conjuration before you can summon the bow. Um, yeah. And your by then your archery skill is probably not very high because you've been using the bound sword or bound axe. So you kind of have to train yourself up. But yeah. Uh, the reason it's so powerful is because it's a Daedric bow. Yeah, can't you get like a regular and, Daedric bow? Um, and a hundred, you get a Daedric bow and a hundred ethereal Daedric arrows for 120 seconds. The damage is based on archery skill and may not be equivalent to a Daedric bow. Uh, all right, fair enough. I just looted some calibers. I thought you should know that. Huh. Forward into the breach and all that. Oh, that's why it's more powerful than a Daedric bow, because one because its base damage is the base damage of the bound bow is eighteen, a Daedric bow is nineteen. Um, but if you take the Mystic Binding perk, which is bound weapons do more damage, it boosts it up to twenty four, which is five higher than a Daedric bow. Oh yeah, that makes sense actually. I forgot about that perk, even though I'm almost sure that I took it. Oh right, the exit that I'm looking for at the other end is probably up, which is why I didn't see it. But there we go.
opening the gate. Yeehaw. Well, uh, is it uh, stronger than a non-upgraded Daedric bow? I, I assume if you plus fortified you get, Smith. Plus, you get free Daedric arrows. That probably helps True. too. True. Yeah, that's also good. Because I mean, I don't know how easy it is to get Daedric arrows otherwise. I don't think I've ever been high enough level in any of my characters to even get Daedric stuff at all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What? Hold on. What, what the guards are killing each other <laughs> and yelling about murder what the what uh, uh do maybe one of them went to swing and attack an imp and attacked another guard and oblivion's just screwy enough for them to blame each other maybe uh wow I, uh, hmm. <laughs> that at least I get three gold out of it. Oh, the guard. Oh, Chompy says the guard accidentally shot his ally, which aggroed him. Ah. Okay. At least someone knows what's going on somewhat. Is this the door I'm supposed to be going into? Probably yes. Uh, okay. So. I think, I think I did miss some things about Oblivion. I like all the the lines. That people shout, like, by the nines, there's a psychopath on the loose. And of if course, that was uh, in Skyrim, it, if that was in Skyrim, it would be by the eight. Yeah, it would. And of course, because the, Hyle. the, um, uh, stop right there, criminal scum. Because high elves are dicks and don't like that a human ascended to be a... I don't know. They don't like Mas powers of it Basically, for some basically high elves are dicks, yeah. That's about it. Yeah. So these are, yeah, that's these are regular scamps instead of stunted ones. Which means that I'm suddenly taking a lot of damage. Oh, that was my crappy self-made potion of healing. That's why it didn't do anything. You think getting along pretty well with just that basic restore spell? Yeah, I have. One day I might buy a better restoration spell. This display case has nothing in it. That's not what a display case is supposed to have in it. Eh. Looking around, looking around. Are the guards still alive? I bet at least one more of them is dead by now. I'm being... Oh. Or maybe they move on without you? I don't know. Oh no, I don't have any magic, but what am I gonna do? <laughs> uh, here's a dead Imperial Archer. Yep, that's a thing. Uh, I don't use heavy armor, so I don't really need to take his armor. Anything else in here? Nice throne, I guess. I think all the other guards just went on without me. I got stuck fighting scamps. There they are. Hey. Uh. This area is clear. Oh, I was supposed to talk to him to confirm that the area was clear so that he would run inside. Okay. Huh. This area so heal over time is better. Hold this area. Apparently. Don't come. What's better? Making your own heal over time spell rather than getting a new restore spell. That Apparently. Probably, that probably would be better. Yes. Oh, well, I, I had to call them inside so they could tell me to go in the back while they waited here. <laughs> Stupid guards. Oh, wait. Some of them followed me in here. I fought mud crabs more fearsome than you. I know I'm on. I didn't punch you. Dude, chill. You're like mostly dead anyway. 
That's actually not bad for my two-handed character. If you do the quest in Skyrim to get the Daedric Artifact, which summons a Dramora... I found an and acrobatics then, book. And then you kill it, um, regardless of what level... Because it, it summons a leveled Dramora based on your level. But regardless, that when you kill it, you, there's a chance for it to drop a Daedric Greatsword. Wow. <laughs> Does it try to fight back? Oh, yeah, if you attack it, so you'd still be attacking a Dramora, but it's fighting things for you anyway. So chances are it'll probably die, eventually. Hopefully, hopefully and then free Daedric Greatswords, that's, potentially super early in the game. <laughs> that's cheating. <laughs> oh, specifically Daedric Greatsword of Inferno. Of Inferno, huh? Of the Inferno. I see. I don't think I'm supposed to go into the dining hall, probably, but screw that. Named wines? That must be important. Like the one I guzzled, even though I knew it was important. Just to do that. Maybe you can't grab them off them. I don't know, I'm seeing two conflicting sources that you can and can't, oh well. Wait, this room is the dining hall? It's tiny! There's not... There's just, like, one table. Two. Maybe two. One of them's flipped over. The other one's only halfway flipped over. This is the worst dining hall I've ever seen. And I've been to college. <laughs> but, um, Tish. <laughs> That's, wow, that's a shitty dining room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did you upturn the table? No, it was there upturned to begin with. I didn't do any upturning. There's chainmail armor lying around here in case none of the guards died and you had to get some somehow. I guess. Uh, sleeping quarters. I wonder if these are larger than the dining hall. No, they're the same size. <laughs> but they're relatively more on fire. <laughs> so I guess that might be cozier, maybe. I don't know. Depends what season, I guess. There's like one bed. No, there's two beds. Uh, maybe there's more in the fire that I can't tell. This is the worst castle. I don't think they should be too mad about it getting blown up. Gives them a reason to get a new one. Yeah. <laughs> and as long as they hire a competent art a competent architect. Yeah. I almost didn't notice that my health was down. I think I just accidentally killed that guard. Because my punch has a bigger range than I thought. This scamp had a spoon on him. I don't know why. Uh, why are all these scamps carrying utensils? I don't know. I wonder if putting on chainmail greaves is worth it because they have pants that give me fatigue points. <laughs> it would only give me like two armor. So probably not. <laughs> that guard just slumped to the ground. <laughs> oh dear. It's time for Lily to go insane at Hi, pi, Lily. at pi in the morning since it's 3:14 a.m. Huh. I found the body of Count Goldwine. Why is oh. it? Oh, that, that must be <laughs> bad for people with normal sleeping. Yeah, Lily is pretty loud. She, what? What's she doing awake at? It's a, it's a dog, what, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, plus they get freaked out by the fireworks. Oh, wait, yeah. Because New Year's. That's... Are they still going on? I don't think they are at this point. Let me just mute my mic for a bit. That's fine.
Yeah, happy New Year's, everyone. Officially, uh, I'm trying to think where it wouldn't be 2014 yet. Uh, some places? I think it just yeah. got there in Chompy Land, probably. Mm, yeah, PST like just hit it yeah, 10 minutes ago. 10, 15 minutes a month. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, a short amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> the guy I'm supposed to talk to was sitting here with his sword drawn staring at a corpse. Where is the Count? Why the Count is, is not, not with me you? because the Count is dead. We... we were too late. The scamp that Before I killed in that room fell on top of his corpse, so I had to move the scamp aside. But I thank you for risking your own... Did you find the Count's Things seem a lot more dire in Oblivion. Everything's... This is safe. ...basically thank gone to hell a lot... Make sure it is ...a lot more literally? <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to... ...think of it, yeah. Oh, he's giving me his armor, which is not amazing because I've already looted identical sets of armor. And this isn't enchanted somehow. Oh, it is. It gives me a little bit of endurance and strength. Cool. I don't like how oh. my in my uh, fortify fatigue pants have such a similar color to my character's fur color. So I keep having to double take and realize that I'm actually wearing pants. Anyway, uh, I have to go back to the place where I told Martin to wait. Wherever that was. So this guy is dead. To go grab Martin and go to the Wayne and Priory. The Wayne and Priory is going to be under attack, if I remember correctly, because this game is all about people being under. Oh, this is the guy who I took the armor from earlier. You can tell because he's shirtless. <laughs> Chapel of Akatosh, that's probably where it was. Okay, Martin. Unless you need Follow me. The way no See, if this was Morrowind, I would have to do this escort quest while actually walking across the overworld, and he would be getting dive bombed by cliff racers. <laughs> but you can actually fast travel with an NPC behind you. Which we are doing because it would be ridiculous otherwise. Oh, the end of Ill Omen mm -hmm. is marked on my map for when that one guy talked to me. I, th I remember that I think there's one question in Skyrim where it's an escort mission, but he's not following you, he's just making his own way there. Yeah, there's and if a you quest in Skyrim where you have to follow people yourself instead of the other way around. Hmm. So it's like, this guy's like, oh, okay, I'll meet you at this cave, and it's like, but he actually travels across the overworld, and I think, I can't remember, but I think it's safer to travel with him so he doesn't run into, like, a dragon or a giant. <laughs> <laughs> I forget where the prior is on the map. I'm having difficulty finding it. Hey, look, it's elsewhere. Priory. Where are you? I forget. Crap. I can see the DLC content icons. Priory. I thought it was to the west. Why can't I zoom out further, you stupid game? Uh. Uh. Okay, seriously, where is it? I'm stuck on the world map. And then suddenly I see a pick which I didn't get. It's two crows sitting on a fence. 
with a te with a tagline attempted murder. It's because a group of crows is called a murder. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't get it for a second. I like oh, <laughs> oh, it's right there. I didn't have the quest selected, so it didn't mark it for me. I don't want those that. This game doesn't auto quest you, I guess. Hello, Wayne and Priority. Hello, assassins. Help! You must help. Help! You must help. They're killing everyone. Hold on. Tell me what happened with the murderer right in the back there. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Try I'm going to take a screenshot of this person saying, "I think they're right behind me." With them right behind him. Her. I was in the ship boat when they attacked. I heard oh the god, I can't tell this person's someone. gender because of it's oblivion. Look around to see who it was. <laughs> they look like travelers, ordinary. Suddenly, weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut. <sighs> I don't know. I think it's a guy. Hello, Mythic Dawn agent. You mean those guys in the background, right behind you? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm not gonna loot all your robes. I already had a problem where I had like 12 of those. Oh, there's Joffrey. He's already out here. Wait, no, I don't know if that's Joffrey or not, actually. Wait, where'd he go? <laughs> Is that guy supposed to be Dark Elf? Uh, yes. <laughs> Why doesn't it automatically give me these quests? Gosh. Okay, so their armor is conjured. Yeah. Joffrey calmly says in the background, Your timing is excellent. My timing... Joffrey's not worried. Yeah, he is a katana, he doesn't care. Oh, those exist? Yeah, he's got the wow. like, very katana, because he's the ex blades they attack guy. Without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I the only <laughs> katana. <laughs> yeah, the blades are the guys who get the only katanas the in the game. I kept yeah, it the only katana I think in Skyrim is a Daedric it. artifact, we'll and it's a two-handed weapon, but it works off the one-handed stat. That's weird. For some reason. Now we have and it gets more powerful. Hmm? See that the amulet of kings has been stolen. <laughs> you know, as it. As it does. Hmm. Secret room in a bookcase. They've taken it. The funny the thing about that Daedric Katana is that it gets more powerful when you kill your own allies, i.e. followers. What? <laughs> so it does not all go against Thank tell us for that. So you have to be a real dick to actually use it to its full potential. <laughs> Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. Ah uh, yes, we have to go to the, the fortress, fortress of the blades, of the blades in, the in the mountains. We should leave at once. Okay, let's go. Cloud roulette. It is high in the. Uh, Maybe it's just my own bias from Skyrim, but I have I have a grudge against the blades because I know they ask you to kill Parthenax at the end of it. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I I didn't get that far in the actual story. No. I don't think I need either. <laughs> I just read too much. Same. Excuse me, out of the doorway, please. I think I can fast travel to this place, too. And Hopefully. I can at least fast travel to the city. Yeah, I can just straight travel to the temple. Good. And I can dump these guys off behind me and not have them following me around. <laughs> While having made random Oblivion Gates spawn. Ten, ten commands, nine divines. Yeah. Odd yes. book title. Maybe. Ta da! Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. Good evening, sir. My lord. <laughs> Welcome to Cloud Ruler. Guards. Formal greeting to the septum got kind of cut off because he said, "Good evening, sir," to me. Uh, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. All right, everyone, walk up the stairs, all cinematic like or something. Once I get this story segment out of the way, it's probably going to be the end of the cast.
because we've done quite a bit. Hmm, we have. It's been good. Yep. Fun times are happening. Blades. Dark times are upon us. Oh right, because the blades were originally the Emperor's bodyguards. Yeah. The Empire is in chaos. This part doesn't get subtitles. There oh, there it goes. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, Hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn! Hail, Hail, Hail Martin, Martin Septim! Septim. Hail. Hail! Your Highness. And then they, yeah, they call him Dragonborn in this, even. Oh, that's. All of you. I know you all expect it's a thing. me to be emperor. I'll do my best, but this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but... Also, I having all of them shout I that sentence at the same work. time sounded really awkward with the quality of voice I acting this game has. I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Good evening. Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to the blade saluting me, and I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but everyone expects me. They want an emperor to blah, tell blah, them. Blah. Of course, the amulet of kings. So we, the emperor. <laughs> In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Hey. Don't worry about me, so my friend. You know I mean concerns. Alright, so, actually I want to screw around and see if there's anything interesting in Cloud Ruler Temple. I can, I know I can loot some armor and katanas. Not that I'll be using them. At least I thought I could take some of that stuff. It's giving me the you are stealing mark on most things. Good evening, sir. Sort of explore. Mixed unit tactics. Yep, there's a Akaviri katana. Are they any good? Um well with my blade stat it has a damage stat of six. No, I guess it's Which is more <laughs> than any of the actual weapons I'm carrying. Including iron claymore, steel war axe, silver dagger. Silver maze. So yeah, I guess they are fairly decent at least. And there's some blades armor. Hey. Hey. There's a bunch of people sleeping. I, I think I probably have to get a little bit further in the quest line before I'm allowed to take some of these things, is all. Probably. Oh, I can become part of the blades, that's right. I probably have to talk to Joffrey, and he'll just be like... Yeah, he's just You're like, I want to accept you into the order, yo. I'll be yeah. like, sure, yeah. It is my honor to welcome you in... Ta-da, now I can go grab things. Oh, he gives me a katana for free. Also, it's a one-handed weapon. Now I can take crap, probably. Welcome aboard, sir. It'll be an honor to serve with you. Yeah, now everything is takeable. So petty theft time. I stole the plate out of from under this cheese by accident. <laughs> uh, I that's that's both hilarious and annoying when that happens. Yeah. If the physics was just a bit more hilarious, it would probably have gone flying in a comical manner. Free stuff. Gods and worship. Darkest darkness again. More specific wine. 
I don't know why they have a cupboard with one coil in it. I don't think there's anything super exciting to find. Probably. Probably not. Good evening, sir. But we gotta look. Grab all the potions and food. Mm. And mushroom caps. I guess. Fundaments of alchemy. Oh, alchemy devices, aka hey. free money. Ah. Uh, gods keep saying so. Yeah. Oh. Uh, if I wasn't almost over encumbered, I could grab a bunch of katanas because they seem to sell for a decent amount. Probably going to be over encumbered with food at this rate. Varieties of Daedra. I was hoping it would have more obvious headings so I could look up the alligators. <laughs> this Blades member is enjoying their nice meal of an empty plate while they mime eating actions. Oh. Oh. Disappointment. Books that are a little bit pricier than normal, but don't give me anything. Because usually pricier books mean skill books. But not this time. Modern Heretics. Oh, that gave me a map marker. Magic Alligators, which are giant bipedal alligators. Yep. They're called Daedroth. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I remember them. What's with all these expensive books that don't give me free points? I don't understand. The Waters of Oblivion. Not seen in this game. On Morrowind. Don't buy it, the combat is rubbish. I wish it said that. You could probably mod it to say that. Very easily. Temple Armory? That sounds more exciting to look at. Good evening, sir. Good evening. It has a target dummy you can attack. I don't think that actually trains anything. Steel short swords, blades armor, a chest which is just labeled armory. Ah! This has an Akaviri Daikatana, which is the two-handed version. And a full set of blades armor, which is all heavy. Insert some joke about the video game called Daikatana and how bad it is. Cited as one of the worst of all time? I believe so. So there's a bunch of free stuff here. But I'm like way in, almost encumbered. And I don't think it would be worth it to take the Blades Fortress clean just to sell everything when I already have like 7,000 gold. Huh. So it turns out the, the, the symbol for Oblivion is just a Daedric letter O. Well, I'm not sure if that means the Daedra are lazy or if everyone else is. <laughs> It's a nice looking O, I guess. <laughs> I think I've already checked every part of this temple. Okay, I didn't loot the cup the cabinets. Oh no, I'm over encumbered with corn. <laughs> I knew this would happen. You said it would be food. I did. Let me just dump a whole bunch of random crap. I 
like how when you dump a bunch of armor, it's all neatly folded. Onion, leek, mandrake root. One of those doesn't fit as much. Anyway, I suppose saving in front of the temple is a good enough place to end. Should be, yeah. So, this has been two hours and 40 minutes. We got a fair bit done. <laughs> Actually did the story, as well as doing a bunch of random crap on the way. And uh, this has been Shag, joined today by special guests Ark and Chompy, but no Chompy right now. So, good night, everybody. Until... Until next time. The future. Yes. Yeah, that. And stop streaming.